This is an overview of an edgeless 40% plate and base. Uh, I wanted to make something inexpensive where people could try out a 40% without too much investment uh, and without too much commitment. So this is cut uh, on 0.08 inch optics acrylic. It's not the sturdiest acrylic you can get but it is pretty inexpensive and it does work. It's me meant uh, or it's designed as a edgeless design so it's meant to have standoffs inside and it's meant to kinda float like that so that you would have the hand wiring in the middle. It has the uh, pretty standard standoff points or mount points here here one in the middle and then over here I am kind of experimenting with adding a few more or moving these in a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, and that is actually something I would like some feedback on. <laughs> uh, anything to make this better. I might still wind up making a uh, an edged version. Uh, when I say edged, I mean that it would have this support on the outside. That would be just a layer in there. Uh, as I said, this is kind of for testing out uh, people who want to test it out, but also still have something that's kind of viable as a daily driver. You will probably have to hot glue the caps or hot glue the switches to keep them in place um, because they will pop out if you pull back, pull hard enough. If you're not going to be switching your keycaps, it's not going to be a big deal, so you won't really have to worry about it. Uh, but if you do plan on swapping them out, I would recommend hot gluing. It's just kind of to give you uh, a taste of a 40 and see if it's something that you uh, could run with during the day. It's also something that, with a little bit of work, can become uh, a daily driver. I would recommend, after you try this out and... You know, really give it a good shot and decide if you do want to go with a 40. I would recommend going to this 0.22 inch, which is this thick. It's considerably thicker and adds a lot to the feel and sturdiness of the keyboard. But this would just kind of whet your appetite and kind of give you a feel for it. So I hope this would help someone make a make a solid decision and try something out before they really get invested, but uh, 40s have been doing really well with me, surprisingly. And I know they're pretty popular, and it's just kind of hard to get into one at this point. So hopefully these will be inexpensive enough that it's not a huge deal to, to get one and try it out. And, uh, well, I guess that's just kind of what I was going for. So, hope that helps you out.